everyone and welcome to Name Hero. I'm Ryan, the founder and CEO. In this video tutorial, I want to talk about how you can install and set up PHP extensions right inside a cPanel. So if that sounds complicated, don't worry, we make it very, very simple. So at Name Hero, we power more WordPress websites than almost any web hosting provider out there here in the United States, and we're super proud of it. And we have set up a platform that we believe to be the most user-friendly, cost-effective, and performance-friendly um, out there that exists. You know, We provide premium web hosting packages at a fraction of the cost of the other competitors out there. And since 2015, Name Hero has grown to become a leading web host with these packages. I feel very confident that you'll find a package here that works perfectly for your website um, and for your business. So in, even if you are an individual that's setting up just your very first blog, just to blog about whatever you, that um, you're interested in, we also have a package for you. So on our screen right now, these are our four different web hosting packages, and you can see we've got a little something for everyone. Um, for those that are just getting started, we have our starter cloud, um, and then as your business grows, um, you, know, you can scale up to any of these different packages. By far, our most popular package is our Turbo Cloud package, and that's because it provides a, a mix of really both of these packages, the starter and the plus, allowing for unlimited websites. So if you only have one website, well, you know, great, you can host it there, but as you grow and you add more websites, you don't have to buy another package. Whereas the starter only allows for one website and the plus, it allows for seven. So you've got your primary plus six add-ons and you know that works for some people, but others, you know, they don't want to worry about upgrading later on. And also the Turbo Cloud has three gigs of RAM, which more RAM means the faster your website's going to go. So as your website grows, you know, and gets more business or more visitors, um, it needs more resources. So at Name Hero, you know, we're very upfront and transparent with our resources, and that way you make the most out of your hosting account, and you don't buy, you know, a web hosting package and you start getting traffic, or maybe you have an existing website and you you move it over, and um, you don't have enough resources. And so that's why I really suggest suggest our turbo to get started if you, you know, have a website and you're already looking for that um, extra power boost. And also our turbo and business, they come with NVMe storage. And so that's a lot faster even than SSD storage. So it's a more of a premium package. But again, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up PHP extensions and also select specific versions of PHP. So this video really applies to anyone on any of these packages here. So if you're looking to, you know, change up the version of PHP, are using or if you're looking to add extensions to PHP um, just follow along in this video and you can easily do it so I've got my account registered already so I'm not going to go through you know account sign up I've got another video out there on YouTube feel free to watch that if you don't have an account with us um, but if you do have an account with us you can go ahead and log in if you want to follow along so I'm gonna go to account here at the top and I'm gonna log into my demo account so demo it in here at .com. I got my password on my clipboard and I'm gonna log right in. Okay, so this is the Name Hero client dashboard and I've got um, you know, seven services in my account and it's likely you have you know, one or a couple as well um, because it's a demo account, I've got several. So I'm gonna click here. Now today I'm gonna demonstrate with a business cloud package. So I'm gonna demonstrate with a package that's right here that we're using for, um, it's ideal for e-commerce websites or larger businesses. It's got four gigs of RAM and it's got that NVMe storage plus a ton of extra features. Um, I'm gonna go down here, it's keydiets.com. So I'm just gonna click on it. Okay, so this is my demo account and it's for keydiets.com, it's my demo domain. And what I want to do is I need to go into cPanel because cPanel is what controls my entire website. And you can access that under actions here. You can log in right here or you can go right here. It's the same link um, to take us into cPanel. Just takes a second and here we are. Now this is cPanel, and again, this is where I can control everything for my web hosting account at Name Hero. I can install WordPress, I can stage WordPress to create a staging website, I can set up email accounts, you know, pretty much anything I need to do can be done right inside of here. But today I'm concerned about PHP, I want to add extensions. Now you say, well Ryan, why would I need to add extensions to my hosting account? 
That's, that's a very good question. So as you develop your website and you're installing themes and adding plugins to your WordPress, you might run across a case to where a specific theme needs a specific PHP extension. And so rather than having to submit a support ticket or you know, hire a developer, you can easily do this right inside of cPanel. And when we came out with Name Hero in 2015, it was very important to me that these type of features were easily put inside a cPanel so you don't have to know code, you don't have to do anything complicated, it's just point and click to get things added to your website. So up here at the top, you're gonna to notice the search box and I love it. I use this um, all the time because instead of having to you know, hunt and peck for your specific icon here, you can just type in what you're looking for and it shows you. So I'm just gonna type in PHP and you'll notice I get several options here, but I wanna to go to select PHP version and it takes me to the PHP selector. So right now I'm using PHP version 8.0. So that's the current version that's stable. Um, we also have PHP 8.1, and um, we have some older versions of PHP too. I always recommend you know, running whatever the latest stable version is, and by default, all new servers create on that, um, and that way your website is secure and also has the highest performance. But we do allow the ability to select an older version of PHP in the event that your website's a little bit older and you haven't upgraded everything yet. Now, I do suggest upgrading your website you know, on a regular basis, especially if you're using WordPress, you know, keeping the themes updated, keeping the core files updated. Um, however, if you have that case to where it's like, Ryan, I know I need to upgrade, but I just haven't done it yet. And if I'm running version eight, then some things aren't gonna work on my website. And so at Name Hero, we allow the ability to run older versions and these are secure versions. We work with a vendor named Cloud Linux, and they provide PHP versions that have been secured and continually patched. So even though like version 7.4, it's reached end of life. However, Cloud Linux provides an alternate version of PHP, an alternate repository, to where they keep this updated and secured, so it's still safe to run older versions. It's not recommended, but it still is safe if you need to do so while to give you time to get your entire website updated. So if I wanted to change my version of PHP, I can do it right inside of here. But I'm on 8.0, and if I go over to keydiets.com, which is my demo website, you can see here's my WordPress site. Um, I just have the default theme, so nothing crazy on here, but everything loads, everything's nice and fast. I've got my free SSL certificate, um, but I do wanna change some PHP extensions. So if I go back over to cPanel, you'll notice at the top here, I've got extensions and options. So I'm gonna click on extensions. And you can see, here's all the default PHP extensions, you know, with the check mark on all of these. These are the ones that are already running on my website. But if I wanna add an additional one, um, I just simply click on it, and then it's gonna add into my account automatically. So for example, if I need to add the zip, so this, this extension, you can hover over and it kind of gives you, you know, details about what each one of these does. But this extension lets reading compressed zip files, archives, and writing them into easily. So I can click this and it's gonna automatically enable the zip extension onto my website. And again, if I don't wanna use it anymore, I can <laughs> deselect it here. Now, anytime I'm adding extensions, this happens in real time. So I always like to check, you know, when I add it, that it didn't break anything. And you know most of these extensions uh, will not, but there are some that might conflict and you know will break the site. So you always want to check you know when you add one um, that your website still loads just fine. For example, if I would say take off um, this MySQL and maybe this one here too. See. I'm missing the MySQL extension. So see, I wanna go back in here and recheck that, right? So it's always good as you move along here that you're checking these. Okay, we need to enable this one here and bring it back up here. There we go. Now we're back to, back to working. So you can see if anything conflicts, it's gonna tell you right here. So anytime you're messing with these, make sure that you do check your website. You know, if you, we have some customers at Name Hero that will you know, kind of get click friendly and start selecting a bunch of ones and then their site doesn't load, then they forget. Um, and you can always reset it, reset it to the default, but then again, you might lose something that you've already added. So I always recommend you, know, again, after you add one, go check your site, make sure it loads, and then if you need to go back, then you can unselect it. But there, all of this does happen in real time. Now, if you need to check, like, you know, did it take or not, 
Um, you know, most often it does, but if you want to just make sure, you can create a PHP info file. So if you go over here to our help section, I've got a demonstration tutorial, and we're currently updating all these screenshots so they match. But you can see I show you how to create one of these, and I'm going to walk you through it really quick just so you know how to do so. This code right here, we can just copy it. Go back into cPanel, and we're just going to go back to the main page, and I'm going to type in file. And we're going to go to File Manager because we want to create a PHP info file so we can see what extensions are installed. So I'm going to click on Public HTML. I'm going to go to New File. And we're just going to call this info.php. And we're going to create this in Public HTML. So when I go to keydiets.com slash info.php, I'll see like all the configuration. Now, for security, once you're done with this, you want to make sure to delete this because you don't want to leave this on your server, on your account, um, because evil actors, you know, you don't want them to see all the specifics to how you have PHP configured. So again, just keep in mind, you know, it's completely safe to do this, but you don't want to leave it just sitting around. I'm going to create it, and I'm going to go click it here. It's info.php. Go to edit, edit, and I'm going to paste that code. So again, this is just going to show us the configuration that you have set up for your domain. Save changes. All right. So now we'll go back here to where key diets is. And I'm going to go slash info.php. There we go. So now I can see I'm using PHP 8.0. And this shows all the extensions that I have added in here. So for example, remember I added the .zip extension. Let's just go back to my PHP selector. Again, we go to select PHP version, and we click on extensions. And you'll see right here, we added the zip. So to confirm that it did add, we can now look here, and I'll just search for .zip. Zip. There we go. And you can see right here, it's registered here. And we can go on down here, and we can see all here that it is, in fact, enabled. So that's how we check it. Now, if I were to disable it, if I go back to cPanel and I deselect it, you'll see if I refresh this page here, now it's gone. So you don't see that zip um, box highlight here. So that's how we know that it took, for, for the, um, a better word, lack of a better word, the setting took. Uh, so if I go back into here, I can, of course, re add it, refresh the page and now zip reappears. And so it's like that for any of these extensions. And again, if you don't know what they do or you don't have like a specific reason, like don't go enable it. You know, you don't want to go in here and start just adding extensions to add extensions. You only want to add them when you have a good reason to do so. And most often this is when you're adding, um, you know, a specific template or a theme to your website or a plugin that says, hey, you know, you need to add this specific extension. If you're adding like a content management software outside of WordPress or maybe you're adding a new CRM for your customers and it says, you know, to install this, make sure you have these extensions enabled. Way back in the day, this used to take like a support ticket and you had to rebuild Apache and all that. Not now, not at Name Hero. You can easily add um, any of these extensions very easily to your websites without having to contact support or you know make too big of a deal out of any of these. Very easily can add them by just pointing and clicking, but make sure you're only adding stuff that you absolutely need. If you go into options here at the top, you can also do things like increase your max PHP limit, your upload size, or your upload uh, max file size. So say I need to upload images on my WordPress blog that are bigger than 64 megs. You know, I could change that to say 128. And also I can check that here. So if I go to, let me copy and paste that actually, make it a little easier on us. So if I wanna you know, change the upload max file size and just verify it, Control find. You can see, I refresh this now, 128. So that's how that's done. And, you know, again, this seems simple. Yeah, it can be complicated if you don't know where all these features are and, you know, where you go in and change these. But name here, we try to put this, you know, in, right in the control panel where you can easily see and make these modifications so you don't have to, you know, go hunting and digging for this. You don't have to have a tech person. Um, you can easily just change this stuff right inside the cPanel. And again, you know, if you make a mistake and you go to your site and something quits loading, you can easily just change it back.
The info.php is an easy way to where you can make sure that you know things are set up and things did in fact add as you intended them to do so. Now, as mentioned, you know, once you're finished with this file here, I'm just going to close it, just go back to file manager. I just want to delete it. Delete. And that way it's gone. So a uh, hacker or you know an evil actor can't see you know how your website's set up or what PHP extensions are used. So now it's showing 404. It's all done. I've added the PHP extension.zip that I wanted to add, and I'm back off to working on my website. So that's how it's done. Super easy and simple. Um, you know, we try to keep everything right inside a cPanel. You know, if I wanted to you know, switch things up, if I wanted to change my PHP version, it can be done inside of here. Um, you know, you can see that all of my websites are on PHP 8.0. Um, it's all handled by our PHP Cloud Linux selector. And that's exactly how I want things to look inside of my accounts here. If you have any questions with this, feel free to let us know. You know, our support is standing by 24-7, uh, 365. It doesn't matter what time of day or night or if it's a holiday or if it's a weekend. We are here standing by to help. Our team would be more than happy to help you out. You know, if you do have any questions around this or, you know, maybe you don't see the extension that you need in here. Um, we already have, you know, the most common ones. There is from time to time. There's an extension that someone needs that hasn't been compiled. Um, we'll be more than happy to add that for you as long as it doesn't conflict with anything else but our team would be more than happy to check that out for you that's how it's done though take full control of PHP at your account with us here at name hero everything is everything is in your fingertips in control you know you don't have to you're not at our bay what we say works you know you can be as flexible with your account as you need to be but thanks for watching and using us here at Name Hero. If you like this video, you know, I certainly appreciate the thumbs up. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button as I've got all kinds of tutorials coming out on how you can make the most out of your account with us here at Name Hero. You know, we provide, we aim to provide a web hosting account that powers websites of all shapes and sizes without charging a big hefty premium for accounts. Uh, we try to be the most cost effective web host out there that provides the highest performance, the highest reliability, and we also don't let you break the bank for using us here at Name Hero. So thanks so much for watching and using us here at NameHero.com.